Hi guys! Hola! Welcome back! Bonjour! Privet! Hey! So welcome back to our channel. Uh, today is going to be a, an interesting video, so you want to watch it? Uh, please subscribe. Yeah, hit the subscribe button. Like, like. help us grow our audience. We love all of you and we want to see more of you. So please, please, please subscribe. Yeah. Yes, yes guys, please. <laughs> so, um, so today? Yeah, today is going to be about how we met. Um, so the year is 2013, so it's been quite a while. Um, I was unemployed at the time. Same as I, by the way. <laughs> I was <laughs> both <laughs> unemployed. So I was unemployed, I was single and ready Same to mingle. Same as I, I, was, I wasn't ready to mingle, I don't know what mingle is. I was very serious and still I am. Well, I was ready to meet somebody basically. Uh -huh, okay. um, I recently finished um, university. So um, I was looking for somebody, I was looking for a job, so there was a lot going on at the time. Um, my sister was actually doing some salsa dancing at the time and um, she, she, got, she kind of got me into the salsa dancing, it was really fun, I actually miss it. I wish I could go back and do some salsa dancing, maybe, you so know. We still have a chance. Maybe, yeah, we still have a chance, maybe when the Covid you know, allows us who knows when. You know, we can go, we can both go, you know, salsa dancing. But anyway, that's the story for another day. So, um, yeah, uh, I was going salsa dancing. I think I was going salsa dancing for a couple of weeks. And that particular day, so I was queuing outside with uh, Sandra. Hey! <laughs> so I was queuing outside with Sandra. Sandra is my sister. And she was in front of me, and I was uh, no, she was yeah, she was in front of me, and I was behind her. And I also remember at that time I was learning how to drive, so I was just waiting for my turn in the queue, and I remember just seeing this tall, skinny dude um, crossing the street, like really recklessly. And I remember that moment because when I was learning how to drive, I hated how people. Yeah, I don't think he knows that. I hated how people would just cross the road because I was a really nervous driver and I hated how people just crossed the road without looking left and like without looking and I was like okay why is he why is he just crossing so I remember that moment I don't think you ever I ever said that it's so, good to make video again now, yeah. now 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 I'm learning you know what yeah. she saw so I saw I saw it briefly in the corner of my eye and I just got annoyed I was like oh another one of those so next thing I know the tall skinny dude is behind me saying hello so I turned and I was just like oh hi and didn't think anything of it I just said oh hi so do you want to jump in there okay now I tell you exactly what happened um, <laughs> so on that day uh, you know like uh, she just said you know we're both uh, unemployed um, and uh, I wasn't you know, only unemployed, you know, I was, on, I was also dead broke and I mean, you know, to me, like, um, you know, when somebody say, yeah, you know, I'm broke, you know, that means that they have, you know, a few dollars or a few euros or a few pounds, you know, whatever, you know, they have some money, right? To me, when I say broke, you know, that is like zero, you know, like, like, like there's none. So, um, on that day, I actually remember, um, I was uh, with the... Um, a girlfriend of uh, a friend of mine so I was helping her uh, with her car and um, we were supposed to go to the garage so I helped her with the part to put the part inside the car and it was already 5 p.m. it was the second time we were going to that garage um, and a friend of mine was calling me he said well let's link up in a city center and you know this girl um, you know my um, friend's girlfriend she said look you don't have to come with me it's okay, you know, like, you know, you already help, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, look, you know, it's fine. So I remember jumping out of the car, um, and as I was walking, you know, it was like 10, 15 minutes walk, 
As I was walking, I remember that this bicycle, you know, just kind of, you know, cut in front of me and I saw this 10 euro on the floor, you know, on the ground. So I like, never pick up money on the floor. I'm African. We don't do that. It's yeah. bad luck. I'll so, leave 100 euros on the floor. I don't mm, pick up. Well, there's a saying, you know, the money lies on the floor. All you have to do is just bend over and pick it up. So, <laughs> so that was the money <laughs> that I had on the day. So I had this 10 euro in my pocket. I was like, oh yeah, That's <laughs> you know, I have money now. So um, meeting with my friend, you know, we were, uh, we were walking uh, through the, you know, there was in Dublin and uh, we were walking through the city center. It was like very kind of, you know, uh, central and um, you know, here in Dublin, there's a, a leafy uh, river. So as we're walking on the side of the river, and I look across the road, and literally, you know, what I saw is this, you know, array of light, you know, like just something flashing. And that's the reason actually I looked there. So as I looked there, you know, I see these two girls, right? And um, without thinking, oh no, actually, this is what happened, I did think. So as they were walking, I see they're going into this, you know, um, a place, right? It's called salsa, you know, salsa classes, something. And to me, in my mind, you know, it was racing here yeah, because, you know, it's 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 not really, you know, comfortable thing, you know, to approach, you know, the, the girls are walking and you'd be like, you know, hey girls, da da da, you know. So it's not that's that's not. You know, I I don't feel comfortable doing this, you know, on the street. But this time, you know, they're actually going inside. So I was just like, you know what? I got to meet this girl, right? So I literally, I jump off the, you know, over the, um, as a, like a little wall and I cross the road. And that's how she saw me, you know, crossing yeah. the road, right? Yeah, I was like on target, you know? <laughs> as I went on inside, you know, you were queuing on inside on the stairs. Oh, I see yes, them both. It was right. It was in the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Ah, right you outside. See? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a big door, and the stairs is. Yeah, you're right. The stairs so, are coming down. Yeah. So yeah. they were on the stairs, and me, and, and again, you know, it's like everything is happening. Like it's, you know, it's seconds, right? It's not like I'm standing there thinking, you know, what I'm gonna do, right? As as I see them there, I'm kind of approaching, and you know, as I'm behind, I'm asking them like, are you guys, you know, are you going for salsa dancing, right? And. Uh, you know, they turn, they look at me and they're like, yeah, we're going for salsa dancing and then, you know, like, because there was two of them, right? And they kind of, you know, they look similar, right? So, for a second, I was like, okay, what is going on? Here? Which one? Which one? <laughs> like, Sound like, like, could have been you. <laughs> can, I have, can I have your phone number, right? No, but, that's not what happened there. You're okay, going too fast. So, we go and you see. So, basically. You're going to find the truth. So, what so happened? Watch, it. watch this video till the very end, okay? So, you were right behind me because my sister Sana was in front of me. Right. And then you said you did say hi. And he was really, he was, he was wearing the most hideous outfit. It was a faded t-shirt and he was a short. He still has those shorts, I think, or maybe he got rid of those shorts. The I have, I have uh, exactly the same, slightly different yeah, he, he bought, I love those shorts. Yeah, so he got rid of those <laughs> ugly shorts because they couldn't fit anymore because I'm feeding him well. Uh. And then he replaced them recently with something else, but that's slightly better. His shoes, he was wearing those um, separator shoes it is it's a Nike it's the Nike I don't care that it's I still uh, have them by the I way I don't no. care that it's Chanel Gucci it was it's idiot. a nice drift and he was wearing some sunglasses so when he said hello I looked at the idiot's outfit like I just I had a quick glance because he already annoyed me the way that he was crossing the road I look at his idiot's outfit and uh, I just said hi back and I was like, okay, whatever. And then he, he, yeah, he did ask, are you going salsa dancing? I said, yes. And then he said, would you teach me how to salsa? So now in salsa dancing, if you do salsa dancing, the man leads and the woman follow. So when I was learning how to, salsa, how to do the salsa dancing, I was, um, they were teaching us, the women, how to follow the lead of the man. And I remember telling him that I cannot teach you how to salsa dance because I only know how to follow, I don't know how to lead. And then after that I just turned back because his outfit was really, really hideous. And those shoes were just, ugh. And then he, you tapped me on the shoulder slightly and then I turned back again. And then he started chatting. At that point I don't even remember what he was saying because I was I was already annoyed at him because of the, the reckless crossing and the idiot's outfit, and he he actually realized that I was looking at his outfit. And do you remember what you told me? No. He said I'm going to change. By the way, <laughs> you remember that? 
No. He said that, he said, oh no, this is nothing, I'm going to change. And I was just like, okay, whatever. And you start, do you remember what you were, so he, he was just trying to kind, kind of start a conversation. And then I was just like, okay, I got a little bit of uh, mercy on him. I mean, really, I'm not a difficult person, but I don't let everybody in and I don't like to make chit chat. I, I'm just like, I like to have meaningful conversation. I'm not really a chit chat person, how is the weather? I, I just don't get this kind of conversation. So I just was trying to make an effort because I'm like, okay, Patricia, are you single? You, you mingle. You ready to mingle? This guy doesn't have the most beautiful outfit, but you know, don't be shallow, just start talking. And at some point he was like, can I have your phone number? And I don't think he remembered that to us. I don't think he you know that one because that's what I was thinking. And as he said, can I have your phone number? He removed his glasses because he already had glasses. And he does have beautiful blue eyes. And I looked at those eyes, I was like, hmm, okay, not bad. Maybe I can work with this. So I'm thinking about this. And also before that, when he said, can I have your phone number? I don't know if my sister can confirm that, but I tapped on the shoulder and I said, do you want to give him your phone number? That's happened. <laughs> Actually, I remember, you know, this is happening here. And uh, I remember Sandra, she looked at her like, are you crazy? This is, this is what happened. I asked for your telephone number, right? And, and I'm again, you know, like I'm looking, you know, like, you know what I mean? Because I think at that time, you know, I was, I wasn't giving like my full attention, intention, you know, <laughs> to, you know, to my beautiful wife, you know, I was still kind of, you know, generic, you know, asking, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, directly asking. So I said, oh, can I have your phone number? And, uh, I remember she was looking at Sandra, and Sandra, you know, she basically, you know, she said, Sandra, do you want to she, give him your Yeah, phone she's like, why, you know, why are you even looking at me? He's asking you. And at that point, I was like, this is it. Now, now you know that I'm asking Sandra you. Sandra actually so. said, he's clearly not interested in me. He's asking you. Uh -huh. So you see, and she I, remember these so details. Eh? I remember it because I was in a stage in my life where I wanted to meet somebody. But then when somebody will come too close, I will run away because I'm really good at running away. And, um, She's not that good at running, by the way. I cannot run. I don't have coordination. So I was, I will, I will get scared. I will be like, I will be praying, God, you know, I want this. I want a husband, blah blah blah. But then, whenever there was a guy that would show interest, I would just brush him off, run away, or whatever. So what's happening? He's asking me for my phone number. He removed his his uh, sunglasses. I'm like, oh, he has beautiful blue eyes. I'm tapping some on the shoulder. Don't give him your phone number. So there's so much, so many emotion on, on my in my head, and I'm like, I don't like his style. I don't like his outfit. And it, yeah, babe, that outfit was really, really bad. That's fine. I still, by the way, I still have a T-shirt, the shorts. Um, you know, I I have exactly the same, but the color. The one I was wearing is yeah. like this color, beige, <laughs> and I tried. I tried to buy exactly the same beige last year for a kind of olive, you know, so and I still have the trainer, so be honest, you know, I'm still the same. <laughs> he wears those trainers when we when we go on holidays. It doesn't matter in Ireland, but only when we go on holidays. So anyway, so I have all those emotions going in my head and um, yeah, I started giving him my phone number. And the trick that I had was that uh, you know I want I will give my phone number to be as natural as possible but I will change the last digit or I will swipe them and I just, this time I actually gave him my, the actual phone number. So when this happened in my head, I had an alarm bell that's like, Patricia, you just gave this guy your phone, phone number. Why did you do, why did you do it? So again, I'm saying that I was really confused in my head. I knew what I wanted, but when somebody was coming to me, I was running away. So I gave him my full phone number and he's like, oh yeah, so uh, I'm gonna come back when you finish the salsa dancing. So that's when I realized that, okay, he had no intention of uh, doing the salsa dancing. <laughs> yeah, the funny, you know, funny thing is, you know, that we still haven't, we haven't visited, you know, a single salsa lesson yeah. as, you know, per today, eight years old. And uh, I don't do salsa or vals or any, well, any of these I was things. going there for a reason, not really to salsa dance. I was going there to meet somebody. Right. So, so uh, I saved you know I saved you some money because otherwise yeah. you would go there and you know pay for. But I did enjoy yeah. it after you know going into it. Mm. So um, 
Yeah, so I give him the right phone number and he says, okay, I'm gonna come back when the salsa dancing ends. And then you did ask me when it does end. And I actually told him the right time, I didn't lie. So second alarm bell is like, Patricia, what are you doing? Do you actually want this guy? Anyway, so uh, while I was dancing, I wasn't really paying attention. I was just looking at the time because I was thinking to myself, I am gonna leave 15 minutes before the salsa dance. So before the salsa lesson finishes, so he will not, he will not catch me. And um, I have this plan in my head, and I'm telling my, my sister, okay, I think I'm gonna leave early because I don't want to meet the guy. And she was, she looked at me very strange. She was like, why? Just, just why? There's no point to doing it. And uh, I was just like, yeah. Well, I was thinking, yeah, it's not like he's going to eat me or anything. But so she kind of convinced me not to leave early. And um, so on that day, the salsa finished a bit early, like I think it was five minutes early. And this guy actually came early. So if I did leave early, I was still bumping to him. So, yeah. Now, how it's really helpful. That's how it happened. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did ask for telephone number and, uh, you know, she gave me the telephone number. I won't lie, I don't remember if I actually called, you know, just to make sure that, you know, it's the right number, you know, so your tricks, yeah, you can fool, you know, some other uh, people <laughs> sometimes, but um, I don't think um, I actually dialed the number, I don't remember, I do remember, um, so I was with a friend of mine, and um, uh, we went back to his place, and uh, um, I was like, okay, you know, I'm waiting, you know, for of this girl she's gonna call me back right and the guy he's Sudanese right and um, he's a funny guy I guess you know that's also the reason you know they felt comfortable because you know I was with my Sudanese friend yeah. you know, so I was already he was, kind of you he know, was like, not the creepy white yeah, guy because yeah, yeah. in Ireland he's whenever, like okay he, he might he be was, cool yeah. he was just like he was just too anyway that's the subject when I don't yeah. really but my you know by the way you know my friend he's like he's really cool guy like he's he's actually um, very you know friendly and uh, likable person you know like seriously so that's true because i saw him at, with him i was like okay maybe he's not uh this creepy white guy because during that time that's the kind of men that i was just meeting creepy white guys i'm not saying all, all of them are creepy because obviously this is an example but this is the experience that i had they were looking at me as an experience rather than as a person but that's a video for another day so uh, there I am, um, uh, sitting in my uh, friend's uh, flat, uh, just literally you know, 10 minutes you know, away from where I met Patricia and uh, I'm waiting for um, a text message, you know, was it called a text message and uh, no, I, I think what, what, was, you know, what happened is that you know, she told me the time they finish in maybe an hour or two, so you know, we sit in there and I try to ring the number and it goes to voicemail. And I'm like, ah, look at this, you know, goes to voicemail. But the reason I was going to voicemail because they were in underground, so there's no reception. Um, so this friend of mine, um, he's saying to me, it's like, look, you know, I know African girls, you know, she's not gonna, you know, she's not gonna uh, call you, you know, just, you know, relax. Yeah, she's just not gonna make forget this Forget about, smooth. you know, forget about, like, you know, I, I know African girls. I'm like, look, man, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. So crying. then what happened is that, you know, she actually called me. I called you? Yes. Oh she actually oh called me and she said, well, I'm finishing now, you know, do you want to come and meet? Yeah, and I'm like, okay. So, I don't remember that, but I guess... So as we go in there, so I asked my friend, you know, to come with me. But the reason I'm I asked sure. him, you know, to come with me is because I only have 10 euro in my pocket. And I'm like, whoa, what if this girl, you know, what if she likes, you know, some drinks or, you know. So I asked my friend to come so he can, you know, balance me in case, you know, I run out of cash. So we went there. And I remember it's a nice coffee, you know, um, you know where we sat and you know we had the, um, you know, coffee. So it's only you know uh, my friend and I, and then Patricia. And I remember sitting there and I'm looking at her. And, he you was know, no, that, at that time you were creepy because his friend was doing most of the conversation, mm. and he was just staring at me, and okay. and being extra nice like, like this little puppy. But I could see in his eyes that this guy. Has a bit of, he's a bit of a daredevil and he is, like I could see and I was like he's, yeah, well maybe daredevil is not the right word but I could see that he was 
the person in front of me all calm and quiet because Maxi has a big opinion and all that. So I was just like, this is not normal because I could feel his energy that the energy that he was giving out was the wrong energy. You know, this one time. Okay. That you can see that he's a bit cheeky in his eyes, and I was like, why is he pretending to be this quiet? And your friend was actually making most of the conversation, and he, he was just so delicate, and I was just like, come on, give me a bit of spices. Spices. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of running away, but apparently I called him. I don't remember that part. It must have been like an out of body experience. I think the way that we met. Kind of like it wasn't me like just doing everything well where I would be like with believers with Christian and I think that you know there was just something that was pushing me to just go for it because I don't remember calling him and if he says I called him I must have but I just don't remember doing that because I was just thinking about my work. Right so uh... What I did ask her is, uh, you know, do you go to church? And uh, that question, you know, that was, uh, that was kind of, you know, um, the question that changed the atmosphere in, 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 in the conversation that we had in the energy there. I saw that she was very happy, you know, that I actually asked this question. And uh, uh, like later on, you know, we were going together to the church and we still, you know, it's only because of pandemic, you know, we're not going but on Sundays otherwise you know we try to go um, so that was you know, my question that was my question I knew what I'm kind of you know trying to the message the message that I'm trying to say <laughs> and it works and um, um, I remember you know so we had this you know tea coffee you know whatever and by the way the bill wasn't even you know 10 euros so we really you know like um, just had a you know 40 minutes less than an hour conversation and then she was um, going home um, but she was saying that she was going somewhere you know to see her friends you know and there wasn't it I wasn't think you want him to know where I live. Yeah it wasn't far from you know where that uh, uh, you know the place where we met in city centre so uh, I asked you know would you like me you know, to walk you uh, it wasn't late, you know, it was summertime, you know, the you know, outside was still bright. So a friend of mine, he went, you know, back to his place, so I went uh, to escort uh, Patricia, you know, back to, you know, the place she was going. And then, you know, I remember, you know, we were standing there next to that house, it's kind of, you know, the apartment block, um, you know, talking. And uh, I really enjoyed, you know, the conversation, it was kind of easy. Yeah, it uh, was know, an easy conversation. Uh, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something that I had to push myself. It was, it was natural. It was natural. So, uh, um, so we had this, you know, conversation for another maybe, you know, five, ten, fifteen minutes. I don't know. You know, time does fly when you're in love. I also, you know, what I do remember is that, you know, uh, I asked her when we were sitting in that cafe, you know, I said, oh, can I see the palm of your hand, right? So when she gave me, you know, the palm of her hand, I said, look. I can see, mm, oh, oh, you know, she was like, well, what do you mean? I said, look, we're going to be married, you know, we're going to have children, you know, like, yeah, I thought he was crazy. you know, I your mind. I landed on a lunatic, I was just like, this guy, I haven't met him like, for five hours and he's talking about. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was me, you know, from very, you know, first moment I was, uh, you know, committed and uh, I knew, you know, she is the, she is the one. So, um, on that day, you know, we um, ended up, you know, having this, you know, um, conversation beside the house, and uh, uh, I remember, you know, when she, well, actually, you know, she walked through the gate, and I looked, you know, uh, at her back. I look back. But that was like honestly, I didn't, I didn't look because you know, I was so. Um, her face, you know, her eyes, you know, was like a magnet. But then, you know, when she turned around and I look at the back. What back? What do you mean, my back, back or back? Back, 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 back. You know, so that the Coca-Cola shave, you know. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I, like I almost, you know, the the, the the jaw was dropped, you know. But that's not, you know, that's not what's, you know. The, that was the cherry on top, yeah, the back. It wasn't like I still remember, you know, that moment. I actually still remember that moment because I was like, whoa. <laughs> that was a wild moment. Got it from my mama. 
and uh, you know we you know we decided you know we agreed not to uh, meet again and. Uh, um, you know, the next time we met was a picnic, but I guess you know that picnic will be the topic of uh, the you another know, video. Another that, video. Yeah. So, pretty much, you know, this is how we met. Uh, it is very romantic, and uh, um, I thank God, you know, for uh, giving me, you know, that you know the flash, you know, the the, the, the flash of light and. Uh, you know, everything that you know has happened after you know it was uh, and it still is you know like a one kind of you know fairy tale you know the story <coughs> and, uh, okay. yeah it was uh, it was good uh, it was good and uh, thinking back um, I think it was meant to be because the way everything happened everything happened very quickly so we're going to make more videos and you know because if we have to talk about everything now it's gonna be like god knows how long so i guess you know just to conclude like you know the way everything happened it happened for a reason in giving him the right phone number me calling him and i still don't remember that i called him i think everything was just it was just meant to be it was because i was praying I had a list of what I wanted. He didn't have all the um, what do you call it? I didn't tick all the boxes he, right. He from didn't the tick spot. all the boxes when I met him, but he was a work in progress. I was a work in progress because I wasn't perfect myself. And together we built something. We're still building, and here we are. Uh, how many years later? <laughs> 2013. <laughs> Guys, you just you know you put you know put the comments you know how many years did it is so uh, Miss Patricia you know she can remember you know how many years. Mrs. Mrs. Yeah, Mrs. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. See you. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye. Say how good I am.